Everyone thinks rice cookers are simple appliances. Just a pot with a heating element and a timer. Set it and forget it. They're completely wrong. Your rice cooker doesn't use a timer at all. It uses physics that most people have never heard of to know exactly when your rice is done, not approximately. Exactly. How does a $30 appliance outsmart you every single time? Before 1955, cooking rice in Japan meant waking up at 5 in the morning to tend a kamado, a traditional clay stove fueled by charcoal or wood. Women cooked rice up to three times a day. Get the timing wrong, and you earned the label of failed housewife. Toshiba salesman Shogo Yamada discovered this when surveying Japanese households about their most wanted appliances. Not washing machines, not refrigerators, an automatic rice cooker. He partnered with engineer Yoshitada Minami, who knew nothing about cooking rice. So Minami turned to his wife Fumiko. She cooked hundreds of test batches in different temperatures, different humidity levels, different times of day. The breakthrough came from a Hokkaido method using insulated lids. In December 1955, Toshiba released the ER4. By the 1960s, nearly every Japanese household owned one. The genius of the rice cooker lies in a property of water most people forget after high school physics. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. But here's what makes it useful while boiling water cannot exceed 100 degrees no matter how much heat you add. All extra energy goes into converting liquid to steam rather than raising temperature. This is called latent heat of vaporization. The temperature stays locked at exactly 100 degrees until every drop of water is gone. Only then can the temperature rise further. Your rice cooker exploits this precise moment. As long as water remains in the pot, temperature stays constant. The instant all water is absorbed or evaporated, the temperature climbs past 100. The cooker detects this change and knows your rice is done. But how does the cooker detect a temperature change of just a few degrees? The answer involves a phenomenon called the Curie point. Certain materials lose their magnetic properties above specific temperatures. Inside your rice cooker sits a small disk made of a special alloy with a Curie point just above 100 degrees Celsius. A magnet holds this disk against the bottom of the pot keeping a spring compressed and the heating circuit closed. When the water is gone and the pot temperature rises past 100 degrees, the disc loses its magnetism. The spring pushes it down with a satisfying click. The circuit opens. The cooker switches from cook to warm. No timer. No guesswork. Pure physics sensing the exact moment your rice finishes cooking. So if this mechanism works perfectly, why do premium rice cookers cost $300 or more? Because basic physics only solves the simplest problem. Different rice varieties need different approaches. Brown rice requires more water and longer cooking. Sushi rice needs precise moisture control for the right stickiness. Older rice behaves differently than fresh harvest. A basic thermostat cannot adjust for these variables. In 1988, Zojirushi introduced something revolutionary fuzzy logic, a microprocessor that makes judgment calls like a human cook, added too much water. The cooker compensates by extending cooking time. Using aged rice, the fuzzy logic adjusts heat intensity throughout the entire cooking process. Fuzzy logic sounds like marketing jargon, but it represents genuine artificial intelligence. Traditional computing works in absolutes on or off, true or false, done or not done. Fuzzy logic operates in degrees. The rice is somewhat cooked. The water level is slightly high. The temperature is rising gradually. By thinking in gradients rather than binaries, 
The microprocessor makes nuanced decisions that mimic human intuition. Sensors monitor temperature at multiple points throughout the cooking cycle. The processor compares real-time data against ideal cooking curves stored in memory. When deviations occur, it adjusts heat accordingly. Premium models add induction heating, transferring energy directly to the pot through electromagnetic fields for even more precise temperature control. Here's what most people miss about their rice cooker. It doesn't just cook rice. It outperforms you at a task humans have practiced for 12,000 years. A trained chef monitors heat checks, texture, adjusts timing based on decades of experience. Your rice cooker does all of this automatically through physics and algorithms you never see. The Curie Point mechanism hasn't fundamentally changed since 1955. Fuzzy logic processors have only gotten smarter. Modern premium cookers can distinguish between jasmine and basmati, adjusting cooking parameters stored from thousands of laboratory tests. Some models even connect to smartphone apps and learn your preferences over time. The appliance remembers how you like your rice better than you do. Fumiko Minami cooked countless failed batches of rice in freezing Hokkaido winters and sweltering summer heat so that modern cooks would never have to. Her husband's engineering combined with her culinary knowledge created an appliance that solved a daily struggle for millions of households across Asia and eventually the world. The physics haven't changed. Water still boils at 100 degrees. Magnets still lose their properties at the Curie point. But 70 years of continuous refinement have transformed a simple mechanism into something that genuinely deserves the word smart. The rice cooker doesn't approximate when your rice is done. It knows with absolute certainty. Next time you press that button and walk away, remember what's actually happening inside. A magnet waiting to lose its grip. A spring ready to release. Physics detecting the exact moment water disappears from your pot. 70 years of engineering ensuring you never burn rice again. That $30 appliance isn't simple at all. It's one of the most elegant pieces of kitchen engineering ever designed. A housewife's experiments became a physics lesson you use every day. So what's cooking in yours right now?